Hello, I'm sorry I can't be there in person, but I really appreciate the opportunity to talk with you a little bit about digital librarianship and education, and really to say congratulations on Dill and Bean at the 10th year of this. I've been uh, very honored and proud to be even just a little small part of it over the years. I have still fond memories of coming to Florence and baking pizzas and wishing there were air conditioning, but that's a whole other story. So Anna Maria asked me to respond briefly uh, around the concept, uh, the questions of what should education for digital librarians be in the next three to five years. So as I think about that question, I think it really breaks down into two major responses. The first is what should they know? Um, what are the competencies? What are the skills? What are the ideas that they should understand? The second thing that I think we need to think a lot about particularly as we move into the future of preparing digital librarians, is how should they know it? Because I think how we educate and how we prepare ourselves and how we prepare the next generation of librarians for engaging in digital settings, we need to think about how it changes how we teach them and how that works. So let me start with the first question about what do we need to know? Well, the first thing is that preparing digital librarians means we're preparing librarians. So they need to clearly understand the, the core values of the profession. They need to have a real understanding of not just how to do something, but why they should do it. Ultimately, they need to understand about the profession, where it's come from, and those core values don't change a heck of a lot. In fact, I think over thousands of years, they change very, very incrementally. For me, it still centers on librarians understanding the core mission, which is to improve society through facilitating knowledge creation in their communities. Why are they doing this? Why do they digitize? Why do they organize? Why do they develop online systems? Why do they go to the effort of doing all of this? Because they want to make their communities smarter. We, we believe as librarians that people who are smarter have better access, richer resources, deeper insights, deeper understandings of the world around them make better decisions. So the first thing that every librarian needs to understand is why we're doing this is to make our community smarter. And the way we do that is by facilitating knowledge creation. Ultimately, librarians are not about storehouses and warehouses and just-in-case information. They're birthplaces of ideas. Why we do this is that we create, either online or in physical presence, or normally a combination of them, a place for people to come and learn and understand better the world around them so they can make better decisions to govern themselves, to live more fulfilling lives, etc. And that means they need to understand the core values of librarianship, of openness. We believe that as we do things, we do it with transparency, we do it with understanding, we show the process, we show multiple ideas and being very open to the diversity of ideas that we provide. We do it around learning. We believe that everyone can learn. We believe that that learning happens in many different ways, from reading, from exploring, from doing, from 3D printing to digitizing to all of these things. And all of those are part of librarianship, not just a certain given tool or set of mechanisms like books or manuscripts or materials. All of it's about learning. We believe in service. We believe that the ultimate success that we provide is in those that we serve. In other words, you can't look at what I do and say you were good at it. You have to look at those that I serve and are they successful to know if I'm good at it. And lastly, we believe in intellectual honesty. That is, that we believe in rationality, that we provide insight and documentation. We worry about the reliability of information and the validity of information. So given that, then we can break down, but what makes it unique about librarianship? Well, I base it around something called the Salzburg Curriculum, and I think it still stands. The first thing that digital librarians need to understand is they need to understand the concept of transformative social engagement. That the work they do, the resources they build, the science that they perform, the services they build, are all around making communities better. They are having an impact in the community, not simply there just in case. That means that they have to understand the values of the community. They have to understand the politics and power of a community. They have to understand the impact of what they're doing. We need to talk around curation then. It's not simply a matter of us storing it all and organizing it, but the idea of focusing on the community and building an array of tools to meet their needs. They must clearly understand technology. 
from digitization to building online resources to how we design those interfaces and systems. They need to understand things like it, cataloging protocols and linked data and semantic data sets. We need to understand that the focus around that technology is on connecting things together. XML, all those wonderful things. We need to understand as a digital librarian the idea of how do we manage this participation? How do we build a system and workflow and organize it and document it and show accountability for it? We need to understand asset management that we're dealing with materials in many cases, some historical, some brand new, some born digital, some digitized. How do we connect them together through information organization, the idea of some um, ontologies, and the idea of how do we connect that thinking together to people's needs? Cultural skills. How do we understand the use of language and how language impacts how people search and find and how do we understand norms of community so that we can match those norms and oftentimes challenge those norms as we push them ahead. Thinking about privacy within the community context, thinking about access within a community context. And ultimately, we need to understand the concept of knowledge itself. That as librarians, we need to have a critical understanding, I mean critical from the sort of critical theory perspective, about knowledge and learning, semantics, the idea of looking at epistemologies and understanding the theory behind it and how it applies. Librarians are not simply clerks that carry out digitization efforts. They are scholars and thinkers that meet the needs of their communities by first identifying those needs and then negotiating with the community how we can push those needs forward or challenge those needs. So that talks about what they need to know. And I don't think that that radically has changed in the past 10 years. Um, maybe a bit in the past 20 years, certainly our understanding of the power of the individual and the notion that librarians are not simply unbiased mm, scholars that simply array things, but that we have a vision, a value, and that we put a perspective in it. That's probably changed. But the core values that we provide of knowledge and openness haven't changed for thousands of years. What has changed, I think, and Dill is a great example of it, is how we teach that. How will the education of digital librarians change in the next three to five years? I think we see this as a continuum and an accelerating continuum. We understand that education of librarians must be, first and foremost, experiential. That is, it's one thing to talk about theory, and we need to do that. But every discussion of theory, every seminar, must be linked to a practica. We must take these ideas in the abstract and put them into action. We have the ability as part of the education process that they can be in building collections, they can be in interacting with communities, and they can begin understanding that complex relationship that's developed online and with different people of different thinking. And that needs to happen from day one, not waiting until after they graduate and hoping for the best. That experiential learning must also be participatory. And that doesn't simply mean that people are doing things. It means that as instructors, we have to understand we are just as much learning from the students as the students are from us. That we must understand that good education, good participatory education is no longer about I have a great understanding of the world that I will transfer to you, the student, but that the student and the teacher are working together to constantly re-understand, reinvent, reimagine what libraries are. That's a participatory context. And not only is it about a student and a teacher, it's about a community and a student and a teacher constantly interacting, constantly relearning, constantly re-examining, constantly rethinking. It means that, frankly, as the old-time gray-bearded professor, my job is to learn as much as it is to pass along what I already know. And lastly, we must talk about this being continuous. That learning is not something that's done in the first two years, you get a degree and then you go out and simply do it for the rest of your life. But just as the teacher and student and community are learning together, they're always doing it. What we know and what we learn in DIL 1 and DIL 5 and DIL 10 are different and they'll be different from 11 and 12 and after you're done with the DIL program you'll continue to learn and be part of examining and re-examining the role of librarianship in society. 
I very much see this in line with what I know of the DIL program, and I very much see it as a very encouraging and exciting time for our profession. So congratulations once again. Thank you for making part of it, and I really look forward to seeing where we're going in the future.